Parse fires, parse fires. Walk into the room, parse fires. Parse fires, parse fires. Walk into the room, parse fires. It is a known fact that a woman do carry your evening bag at dinner time. You see it on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You see it on Real Housewives of Potomac. You even see it on Real Housewives. We're taking one fan to come back upstairs to Q&A with, to run it like ask Bob Q&A. Um, so you'll be able to kind of be the, the spokesperson, the one who's asking the questions from fans and stuff, okay? So we'll be picking one, somebody. Hi guys, uh, it's me, Bob the Drag Queen, and we are here at the PEG Studios. And I'm actually being interviewed today by some fans. Introduce yourself. I'm Erica, and I'm from South Omani. And I'm Leo from South Omani. <laughs> and I'm Bob, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. How does it feel to interview Bob? It is surreal. Surreal is not even a big enough word to blink it to be able to interview oh, Bob. That's sweet. Yes. <laughs> I'm literally shaking, like trying to calm down. Me too, but I have Parkinson's. <laughs> I'm Jacob and I'm from Riverside. I'm pretty excited. Look at how you gave me this purse. I'm Said Hernandez from Compton. I got the limited edition poster. Of what is your favorite meet and greet moment? Dude, one time I was at a meet and greet with uh, Naomi Smalls and a bunch of other girls with the stories about me and Naomi. And then this guy comes up and like, you're Naomi and I'm me. And this guy comes up and he says, between me, he looks at, he looks at me and goes, I'm gonna stand next to the girl who won and the girl who should have won. Oh, oh no! I'm Ash Tessier, I'm from Eagle Rock, so I'm excited. Um, I got a tank top with Bob's wonderful face on it to wear for the summer. I'm Carlos Martinez, and I'm here from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I got a poster. <laughs> Bob, what city has the best fans? I went to Sao Paulo, I went to Rio, I went to Brasilia, I went to, um, Porto Alegre, and there was one of them, whatever. But Porto Alegre was there was like crazy. Crazy how? Aside from like they were just like so excited, like, like they thought I was famous. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are famous. I was like, yes, no, I'm not like Beyonce or anything, right? <laughs> what was your weirdest fan encounter? Oh, <laughs> one time I was in Nashville. He comes to me and he goes, "I know you're trying to be incognito," and I was like, "You just call me a Negro, yeah. like you." Like you walked up to me and you called me a Negro in the first moments of meeting me. And then he goes, how sick are you of cute redheads telling you how amazing you are? And my first thought was, you're not that fucking cute. But then he goes, um, <laughs> and I said, that's really nice of you. Thank you so much. He goes, no, I want something real. That's what you tell everyone. Give me something real. And I was like, all right, this is, this is getting like aggressive. He goes, well, at least hug me. And I was like, I, I think I'm good. And he goes, I got fuck off, Bob. He just storms off in the middle of this bar in Nashville. I was like, I did when you're hungry. Exactly, right? Can you send a few minutes? Sure. Like, someone back here. Do you want a photo of on your phone? Yeah. I said, no Alaska songs at my goddamn history. <laughs> All stars bullshit. You're from Columbus, Georgia? Do you know that I'm from Columbus, Georgia? Were you born at the medical center? No, I was born at the medical center. center. Medical, yeah, medical center. You were born at the medical center? Yeah. About 14 years after me? Yeah. Probably in the same room. Oh. I, was, I was like, it was a shitty picture. <laughs> I was like, whoa, you cannot draw. Thank you, that's been around. It's actually really amazing. What is the best and worst gift a fan has given you? I don't think I've ever really received a bad gift. I get gifts that don't travel well. You bought a thing so I can transport it home yeah. without crushing it. Right. You're a very smart 16 year old. Thank you. Uh, my name's Isabella. Isabella? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 12. I just turned 12. Did you used to make that up. You're like, I ain't. <laughs> what am I going to choose today? Oh, you're adorable. Can we embrace? Yeah. Oh, how cute are you? Can I keep this? Yeah. I was going to keep it anyway. <laughs> well, what is your favorite song to perform? I think my favorite song to perform is Purse First, available on iTunes for exactly $1.49. How has your life been impacted since your experience? Well, I mean, I am from a low-income family in Atlanta, Georgia, born in Columbus, Georgia. But like, I get to travel and, more and, and really experience cultures that I never had a chance to experience before. So it's really been, it's like really kind of um, humbling, that's what I'm looking for. Humbling, yeah. How has your relationships been different with queens on, on your season and other queens from other seasons? Oh, well, you know, all the queens from my season, I love them all. I make jokes about Derek Barry sometimes, <laughs> but Derek Barry is actually really fucking funny, really smart, 
sh shockingly. But I don't have any like drama with anyone. Everyone's been really cool and chill. Um, but for the most part, everyone has been really lovely. I met the girls from season nine, mm -hmm. and they are peaches. You are our parents' favorite. Oh, moms it's such, love me. It's such a my dad, dad loves dad. Dad. Please don't dad love me. Dad, I don't know what it is. They dad, love what? You. Once again, I am Bob the Drag Queen, and this is Super Soul Sundays here at the PEG offices. Subscribe. I don't know why you all gagging. Purse first, purse first. Walk into the room, purse first. Purse first, purse first. Walk into the room, purse first. Ow, purse first, purse first. Listen to the first verse. Up.